Victorian Liberals have pledged to run a separate state royal commission into the pandemic, even if the federal government calls a similar one. It comes as a party faithful, including former federal treasurer Josh Frydenberg, rally around Matthew Guy. Matthew Guy invoked his heritage to rev up the Liberal faithful. Just let me tell you one thing, we Ukrainians know how to fight. <laughs> and we do have a fight against a tired, dated, centrist, arrogant, out-of-touch government. Even as he gained support from the federal treasurer ousted at the last election, now dealing with a different narrative around the Morrison government's legacy. What do you think of Scott Morrison? Uh, I and think all the revelations there. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to be commenting on those sort of things today, Simon, but um, I'm very proud of what we achieved, what he achieved, what the government achieved. Were you frustrated, though, that he didn't tell you about the secret ministry? Oh, look, I'm not going to comment on all those things. Do you think Matthew Guy can win? Yes, I do. Why? Uh, because I think he offers a very strong vision for the state and, you know, obviously there were some real problems here in Victoria. A sentiment shared too by the former Prime Minister, Tony Abbott. They've got a fair bit of ground to make up. I, I, I accept that, but the fact is the Andrews government has been a, a seriously bad government. Tony Abbott was in town yesterday. Good on him. Great to see him in Melbourne. I remember, I remember, no cuts to health. We all remember that. And what happened? What happened the budget after? The very first budget thereafter. Savage cutbacks to hospitals, savage cutbacks to education. And as Canberra considers a Royal Commission into the pandemic, the state Liberals have pledged to run a separate Royal Commission into Victoria's handling of COVID-19. I'll wait for whoever is called to give evidence from those presiding over it, but we would launch it fairly promptly because it's current and it needs to be solved. We would expect that you'd need a separate one for the state response. As the Liberals drove home their health policies, 1,400 members turned up following May's federal election loss. But they want to win in November. There's still, though, slight division in the ranks. One notable absentee was Tim Smith. The former member for Q left the party after crashing his car whilst drunk. He now publicly claims that Matthew Guy wanted him to stay on as an MP in the party, at odds with Mr Guy's declaration at the time. I made it clear that I didn't want him to nominate at the next election and that I didn't believe he should nominate for the seat of Q. Matthew Guy's response today... He is not a liar. He is a good person. I lost a really good friend out of it, a really good friend, a really close confidant. And, you know, I'm really very deeply sad about that. And um, you know, so often you make friends like that in politics. You know, I did. And, you know, I, to me, that's the... It, everything else is immaterial to me. It is. Matthew Guy has about 90 days to convince Victorians that he should be the next Premier. And after bringing the Liberal Party faithful to a race course where it's going to be quite busy here in November, he's hoping his odds will improve well ahead of the election on November the 26th. I've promised never to wear North Face again and I won't. A clear quip to his opponent as the contest continues. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.